Hey guys, so I've been a bit MIA on um, my channel lately. I was on vacation for a few weeks and then I started work, so it's been kind of crazy. But I figured that today I would do kind of like an elf haul. I, well it's all full, but I went to um, New York for a day while I was over um, on the East Coast and there was an elf store that I passed by. So um, I went in and I bought like a bunch of stuff. I love Elf. Um, I got really excited when I saw the store and I bought a bunch of stuff and this is the bag that it came in and I'm definitely going to use this for like my everyday makeup um, bag but I have some stuff and I have swatched some of it but I haven't really used it. I haven't used it at all actually um, to do a makeup look at all so I figured today I would do that and incorporate some of the products and just do like my everyday look that I've been going for lately I've already put on SPF going with my wet wild primer this is my favorite and I'm running out no bueno but I'm just putting a little bit on my face um all right so I put primer on I'm gonna go ahead and take my, my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1 Foundation and Concealer in the color 03 Light Beige. I'm gonna put that on the back of my hand. I'm gonna put one full pump, and then I'm gonna put half a pump of the True Match Lumi Foundation. This is the one in like porcelain, warm porcelain light ivory. And I'm going to take this is an oval brush, and I'm going to just mix it on the back of my hand, and then just. Put it on my face and I actually got this for like a dollar online so I'm gonna take my damp beauty blender afterwards and just blend everything out I'm gonna take my benefit born concealer I'm gonna take the 01 shade with my finger and pack it on right here and then blend it out and then a little bit down my nose I'm gonna take my uh, LA girl the yellow concealer put this right here and then take the color porcelain and the LA girl concealer and put it right here like pre-recorded some videos like before I went on vacation so I just I just didn't have time to edit them but I will edit them and upload them I'm gonna try to get at least one video up every week I don't want to set myself on a schedule because I'm just I don't function <laughs> with like schedules or anything when it's like I don't know I just get lazy so there we go that's done I'm gonna go ahead and take my translucent powder by NYC. That's the wrong one. And my blush brush by e.l.f. And I'm going to just set underneath my eyes. And this is gonna get everywhere in my dress, but that's fine. We'll come off. Alright, next I'm going to take my contour and highlight cream palette. I'm going to take these two colors right here. I'm going to take my contour brush by e.l.f. I'm going to just dip into these two and I'm just going to make one really thin line. And I've been experimenting with contouring lately just because I found that like my contour was looking like a little bit too intense. That's intense. Yeah, that fuck up. I'm going to take the darkest shade of the two, focus it right here. Um, yeah, I was just noticing in my videos it wasn't looking too hot, so. Taking my foundation brush that I used, putting it up underneath. And then taking my A Cosmetic Foundation brush, I'm just blending this out just a little bit. And then brushing away my powder. And just 
little bit over my contour. Next, I'm going to take one of the things that I bought. This is the e.l.f. Aqua Beauty Aqua Infused Brush and Bronzer um, in the color Bronzed Peach. So it says, this is Hydrating Blush and Bronzer Duo for a beautiful, silky, and weightless effect. Enrich with pure water to hydrate the skin. Okay, so this is what the two look like. This is really bright. It looks different from the packaging. This is more pink than peach, but... I mean, I guess. So I'm going to take this um, powder brush by e.l.f. And I'm going to just dip into the bronzer portion. It's pretty pretty. It's nice. This is the swatch on the back of my hand. Put it right here. This is really pretty. That would actually be a really pretty eyeshadow. Let's try the blush. Oh my god. So these are really pigmented. Um, what I... Use, am I going to use this as a bronzer all the time? No. Because it's a bit too um, warm toned for me. But I think a little bit is nice. So I'm going to take my e.l.f. Um, powder brush and pack this here. with the blush now. I'm going to take my um, e.l.f. What the, okay, my powder brush and I'm going to put just the slightest amount. I think I definitely recommend this for people with um, darker skin tones. I feel like people who are really fair um, have to go really light-handed with this. And then let's get another clean brush and merge those two colors together. But um, yeah, it's definitely pigmented for sure. I'm gonna put a little bit more bronzer underneath my chin. But it's really like creamy, easy to put on. Um, yeah, I enjoy it. So, doing that. All right. Now, I'm going to go in with the eyeshadow that I got from that. So, I got this. This is the e.l.f. Clay Eyeshadow Palette in Necessary Needs. This is the packaging. Um, and it says it's silky smooth powders blend effortlessly on the lid infused with kaolin clay to help create long lasting wear. Alright, so this is what it looks like. This is really cute packaging. Just take this color right here and I'm going to take my wet n wild eyeshadow brush and just put this all over the lid. just to blend everything together. And I'm just going to put this all over my eye. I'm going to take this color right here, this like sparkly color, with my e.l.f. Um, eyeshadow brush and I'm going to just There's fallout with these, which is fine with me, so I'm not too worried about that. Just be sure to like, um, put powder in your eyes so that way it's not like a pain in the ass. I'm just putting this like kind of in the center. This could be like, um, a shimmery effect. All right, and then with this brush right here, I'm gonna take this color, it's like a darker shimmer, and put this just right here. And I mean, these shadows are pretty good. Um, I mean, they're not amazing, but for like everyday colors, they're pretty good. 
just for days when you want to have something on your lid but you don't want to go too crazy on the bottom of the I'm going to put more of that transition color I put right here. And then let's sweep this color right here. Take this pointed brush, go in that crease color. And it's pretty good. I mean, I think I paid like three bucks for this, so for three bucks, it's not too bad. And then I'm gonna take the highlight color that it comes with and my elf eyeshadow brush, the flat brush, and just highlight my brow bone. Oh, well, this is really pretty. like a frosty highlight. Let's put this in the inner corner as well. And then I'm going to take a clean um, elf eyeshadow brush and blend that in. Also the inner corners. Alright. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows. And I got this before I left on vacates. The elf um, eyebrow brush. I'm going to, or eyebrow pencil, I'm sorry. I'm going to brush away my eyebrows. And then I'm going to just speed through this because it's the same process, just a different process. I'm going to put on mascara. I'm going to take my L'Oreal Telescopic in Carbon Black. I'm gonna take, this is the e.l.f. illuminating palette in the color, there's no color. I don't think there's a color, it's just the illuminating palettes, this one. Um, and they look like they're shimmers. This looks like, ooh, this is pretty, this is like a pretty highlight. I'm gonna take my um, blush brush, dip into it just a little bit. Now I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. baked highlighter, Moonlight Pearls. This is the packaging for it and this is the thing I'm most excited about because I love highlight so this is what it looks like these are kind of hard to open not gonna lie oh my god let's... I have this on the back of my hand I don't know if you can see it or not but that looks really pretty I'm gonna take my wet and wild fun foundation brush I have like dry skin right? Gonna highlight it, but I love being glowy. Oh, that's pretty. I think I have to like play around with this product a little bit more, but um, so far it's pretty good. It's pretty like dewy looking. Let me spray this foundation brush with my Smashbox primer water. Let's see how it looks. I'm gonna spray my face too. Let's see how it looks when it is wet. Oh wow, that's pretty. Okay. Yeah, I like this product. It's like a subtle highlight. Like for me, it's subtle. This is really pretty. Alright, I'll just add some more, just to be extra, extra, alright, cool, I like that product, and now the final thing I got was this e.l.f., it's e.l.f. matte lip color in tea rose, it looks like this, and it's, uh, it says sharpeners included, which, oh my god, so cool. Do you like put it on the thing? Oh, I guess you do. I guess like this little thing at the bottom is like a sharpener. That's cool. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna swatch this right here. Hopefully you guys can see. I'm like moving my hand all weird, but it's this color right here. So 
It's like a mauvey purple kind of, so let's go ahead and put this on. So. And I like that it's sharpened because I can line my lips with it. So it is matte, um, it sits pretty comfortably on the lips. The color itself, I'm not really sold on, to be honest. Um, it just looks different, different in the packaging. Like it looks like this in the packaging and on my lips it looks a little bit more purple than like pink and mauve -y. But it's pretty good. So, um, this is what the look looks like. I never know where to look in these outros, but, um, I hope you guys liked it. Um, I'll be back with a lot more videos, I promise. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little, like, elf haul slash first impressions, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.